It is week two of our month of a thousand turkeys. We're really not calling it that. We are getting you ready for Thanksgiving through the month of November. And this week we are talking about the old debate, stuffing versus dressing. It's dressing, right? It's dressing. Dressing is a casserole. Okay. Stuffing would be what we put inside the bird. But we're gonna make a generalized basic dressing all about flavor all about flavor all about the flavor this is my favorite part of thanksgiving the sides are my favorite part yes. i can almost give up on this especially turkey. this so I, in fact i make myself sick on dressing every thanksgiving i eat so much of it so what do you got here we're gonna we got a little butter in the pan we're gonna sweat out some andouille you can use any smoked sausage onions we have a little parsnip kind of like a white carrot um carrot just some basic mirepoix, mm -hmm. carrot, onion, celery. The parsnip's kind of in there for fun. And then some celery. Okay. Um, we're gonna sweat this, let it get kind of uh, translucent, cook through, soften. Mm -hmm. And we're drawing out the flavor of the sausage. We're combining that with the butter. So Is there sausage in traditional dressing? I think it depends on who's making it. I. I, since I've moved to the south, we do a lot of sausage and oyster dressing. And we okay. have oysters you could actually buy in the store and put in as well. Okay. But for a basic, I grew up, no. It would just be bread mm -hmm. and mirepoix. Yeah. Okay. So we have this sweating away, getting it nice and uh, softened, pulling out those flavors, those tastes, a little bit of salt, nice to season in the beginning so it carries through, mm -hmm. a little bit of pepper. We have some fresh thyme, which is kind of a Thanksgiving sort of herb that I think of when you smell yeah. Thanksgiving. This is very interesting because I, I've i only seen dressing when it's done. This is, this. is So this is what you have to do. Yeah, this is how you to, get to that. To get to that. A little fresh sage. Oh. I brought you your own leaf to play with. Nice. So we grew actually the thyme and the sage at the garden here in the outside. Mm -hmm. um, then we get to just like the pilgrims. Just like the pilgrims. We get to the bread. So our bread combination, I have been saving bread. There's a dinner roll in here. There's biscuits in here. There's Krispy Kreme donut. <laughs> mm, that would be the dessert stuffing. Um, and then just some other, you know, random bread that we put in the freezer we mm -hmm. don't throw away. So we're gonna put that in as well. Okay. And we're gonna add, we want it to absorb some of the flavor. Okay. Can you, can you I was picturing it? a lot more either butter or, um, in fact, I've had it with lard before. <laughs> that's really old school and not too healthy, right? Yeah, that's old, old, old Southern. Yeah, I, it's good. It's well, good. So we do have the butter, mm -hmm. and you've got the fat from the sausage, mm -hmm. and then you know, trying to keep it a little bit healthier, maybe not as much fat. Good. But we're gonna toast the breadcrumbs up a little bit. We're getting it to absorb the sausage flavor, the onion flavor, the carrot flavor. Mm -hmm. If you want to, my uh, wife's family, they bake cornbread. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So now I think of it as kind of a 50-50 cornbread to bread ratio for cornbread stuffing. Mm -hmm. And you've got those good flavors in there. Now it looks really dry, right? Yes. I'm getting a little concerned here. So we oh, have, really not. I know it's going to be great. We have turkey stock. <laughs> or you can use chicken stock. Just you really don't want to use water because water has no oh, flavor. You're right. So we're trying to add flavor. Okay. If you even, you know, saved your chicken carcasses and make your own chicken stock or saved your turkey carcass from a different event. Mm -hmm. um, so this cooks down and how, how did it, you know, how does it get mushy like it? normally is in a, in a casserole. Well, just it's having a little bit more stock to it. Mm -hmm. Then what we want to do, once we get to where we feel, or I feel it's got the right texture mm -hmm. or the right look to mm -hmm. it, I will put it in a casserole dish okay. or a cast iron pan, you know, spray it nicely. Mm -hmm. And then you can load it up. At this point too, you could add your oysters if you wanted to. So you've got oyster sausage stuffing. Is dressing something that can be, you know, be done ahead of time, or, or is it more of a day of thing that you got to do? It's got to be fresh. You can make this three, four days ahead, bake it off, and then just reheat it day of. Okay. You can even reheat it on your grill outside. Ah. You just need it to come reheat to 165 degrees. Okay. So into the oven with that. Okay, so that's dressing. Stuffing, not really a southern thing, but you know, it is some family's traditions to do stuffing. 
These are in the muffin form, but you need to be careful if you're going to do stuffing. If you're going to stuff the bird and cook it, you, I, I've read that you need to be careful with the temperature. Is that right? That is absolutely correct. So if you stuff the bird, the stuffing inside needs to get to 165 degrees or above to kill the salvanella that mm -hmm. might have dripped in through the bird while you're roasting it. Because mm -hmm. the juices, raw juices go in, we want to make sure that it gets up to temp. You also want to cook your bird to 165 degrees. So that's one of the reasons we might not use stuffing baked inside the bird. It'll take a little bit longer for the bird to cook. It might dry out. You can bake the bird, then stuff the bird, finish it in the oven. There you go. Browned up. Don't have to worry about that salmonella. Nope. Yeah. And if we, you have a picky, we, choosy family, you can do stuffing I in love this idea. Tins. In muffin tins. Three different flavors, muffin tins. Some great ideas. Uh, any of these recipes we're going to get from you, and we're going to post it on WSPA.com. We are getting you ready for Thanksgiving. That was stuffing versus dressing. We'll have more coming up next week on Culinary Corner. <laughs> and I am fully aware that some people watched that and said, that is not how we do dressing <laughs> in our house. My, my mother-in-law, my late mother-in-law, miss her so much. She always made the best dressing and did, yeah. and did, the, did it in the pan, like a cookie sheet, you know, mm -hmm. and it was just simple and oh, so good. That generation did yeah. it the best. They did. And they still do it the best. Yeah. For more on Culinary Corner, head to WSPA.com and look under the Carolinas Family tab.